Hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host Aaron and for today's video we're headed to the world of a brand new game that just yesterday hit early access. And of course I'm talking about Black Geyser Couriers of Darkness. Now I've made a video about this game in the past but obviously I didn't have a chance to play it. So what we're going to do today is go through character creation and it is a very detailed intricate character creation and then tonight 6 p.m pdt i will be streaming black geyser couriers of darkness on my twitch first link in the description below if you have not heard of this game it is a brand new crpg classic role playing game now what you'll see on the screen right now is the actual character creation very interesting you can choose a character below and customize it or create one from scratch. You know we're gonna create one from scratch, but look. So you've got a dwarf Highlander, an elf ranger, you got a winter mage, human fighter, human necromancer, human swindler, human templar, and Rillo shaman. So they give you lots of options, but in this case, we're gonna create one new. Click. We are in. Now, the first thing you will notice is you got this kind of generic guy right here in the middle. Don't worry. We're going to be able to customize this a lot. And the first thing you want to pick is if you want to be a man or a woman, male or female. And for this instance, we are going to go female. OK, next, what you have to do is pick which race. So you have human. Dwarf. Elf. Can't see the ears, really. Beldegug. And Rillo. Got like the tusks coming out, right? So when you look at these, each one has its own lore, and then each one has its own distinct stats. So, for example, when you look at human, it can be any class, kind of obviously in the more boring, and minus one maximum supernatural. Okay. You look at dwarf, can't be all these classes. Plus one to maximum physical, physique. Negative two to maximum charisma, negative one to maximum supernatural, plus 15% damage to war clubs and hammers, plus 12% damage to battle axes, and plus 9% damage to slings and fustables. So that is the dwarf. Elf. Cannot be necromancer, shaman, or templar. Plus one to maximum dexterity, negative two to maximum physique, plus 15% damage to bows and arrows. Oh, I like that one. Elf. Beldegug is kind of your, I guess you could say, mage style class. Focus on spells. Plus one to maximum intelligence, negative one to maximum charisma, negative one to physique, and plus one to maximum supernatural. Last but not least, Rillo. So on here, you can't be ranger, templar, or winter mage, plus two to maximum physique, negative two to maximum dexterity. Kind of call this like the tank class, right? So what I am thinking for this, we are going to go elf. You're probably thinking, oh, female elf. How original. That's where we're going. Okay, deal with it. Now that we've got that, we've got our elf, we've seen our description, we've seen our stats, we've got our sex, we are moving on to class. Because you have to pick your race, then you have to pick the class for that race. So in here, it's literally the exact same steps. You have cleric, convoker, druid, fighter, highlander, ranger, spellweaver, swindler, thief, and winter mage. And every single one of these has its own lore and stats behind it. OK, you've seen all these and we are going to select Ranger. And you're probably thinking what I just said, female elf Ranger. Not very original, Aaron. I know that's what you're thinking. I want to make the character I want to make. Leave me alone. So what you will see on here for the Ranger. And again, I don't want to read the lore. OK, video will take forever. But under stats on here, plus two to physique for racial base, plus one to dexterity, plus one to charisma, and then all these damage boosts. Okay. Cannot wear heavy armor, cannot wield any, can wield any weapon. So that's nice. All right. So now we are category mortal, race, elf, sex, female, and we are moving on to attributes. So here for attributes, you get to allocate 21 points here at the beginning. Physique, Dexterity, Intelligence, Focus, Charisma, Supernatural. And on here, when you click on them, it tells you what it does. Now, since we are a bowcaster and we shoot arrows, that is considered physical. 
So physique will help us as far as giving us more damage and giving us, from what I understand, give us more damage and should give us more maximum health. But we are a dexterity class. We focus on agility. We're going to give half of our points right there into dex. We want to have a little bit of charisma. Throw a couple points into charisma. Get this to 10 for some life. Charisma to 10 and then the other three. Oh, 15 is the max. The 1-1. One, one. How's that? 11-15. Obviously, I'm not putting a whole lot of thought into this, okay? So now we have allocated our points. And we're not even halfway done. We are moving to skills and spells. All right, so on skills and spells, you have general, which you have one point to allocate. Class specific, where you have one point to allocate. And then you have weapons, where you have three points to allocate. Now, right off the bat, I'm going to make this very easy and actually start at weapons because we want bows and arrows. We're going to put all points into bows and arrows. And then under class specific, you only get one point. You get seasoned warriors, outdoors, survival, command company, force locks and doors. I think I want outdoor survival. Uh, the character becomes more capable of fending off themselves and their allies in the wilderness. Increase health regen while resting outdoor locations for all party members. Multiple characters can take this skill to increase the effect. Effect by physique, fo physique, focus, and modifiers. Maybe I just want seasoned warriors. No, I want outdoors. All right. Click outdoors. And then on general, bargains, persuasion, brewing. Mm -hmm. After this ability, we're just going to take potions. Double up on that. Okay. We have allocated all our points to weapons, class specific and general, and we are moving on to appearance. And I'm sure this is what you all care about. Okay. Mortal, elf, female, ranger. And then here are our attributes, attributes and resistances. Appearance. All right. Let's change how she looks. Major color changes the major color of her outfit. We're woodland, right? We're going to go green. Here we go. Good, nice little forest green. Minor color. Orange for action RPG. Yeah, why not? Skin color. You are very white. Give you a little tan. Blue is interesting. We'll just give you a little bit of color. Okay. Eye color. Oh, that's kind of disappointing. You can't zoom in. So you can't really see the eye color. Either way. We'll go green. Hair color. Dark brown, gray, white. Look at all these options. What do we like? Ooh, redhead. I will go ginger. Hairstyle, medium. Hmm. Pixie, no. Fringe. Kind of a good archer look. Spun, pigtails, no, no Harley Quinn, no slick back, elegant, Is that elegant looking, bald, twin bun, no, I like elegant, we're gonna go elegant, all right, now lastly, we have to pick a portrait for our character, look how far we've come, look at this elf warrior, ranger, so let's try and find a picture. And okay, look at this. See this one? I'll try and get the same shot. Look at that. Huh? It's actually surprisingly, it's very close. I like it. All right. Appearance is done. Moving on to name and voice. Yes, you can change your voice in this game. Name, we're just gonna do action. If I can type RPG, let's see if we can hear the voice. Ready? Rascal. Mm. Yeah, it's nice to be needed. Why not? Very low. Amazon. What? Where there's a will, there's a what? Huh. Eh, I don't really like that one. Academic. Yes. I'm not going to like this, am I? I don't see why. I don't like that. Rascal. Okay. And I think that is it. There we go. We have finalized our character creation. When you get to the end, you've got your character that you could spin. 
And I mean, it is a pretty detailed breakdown, right? Name, action, RPG, elf, female, mortal, ranger, attributes, general skills, class skills, weapon skills, resistances, appearance, and voice. So you've got your little card. Black Geyser, Couriers of Darkness. I will be streaming it in a few hours, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time tonight. And I plan on doing a first impressions video for this game. Again, this is a CRPG, classic role playing game. It's not your standard action RPG where you're just literally going around and slaughtering monsters. It's about deep story. It's about lore. It's about decision making, which change your path. It's about being strategic in combat. So hopefully it's a fun stream. The idea is I'll be asking questions and let you guys vote on what I do in those situations. So hopefully it all works out. Black Geyser, Couriers of Darkness. I want to know what you think. Is it good? Is the character creation deep enough? Do you want to be able to change the lengths of the fingers? Which I know that's kind of random, but sometimes people like want complete detail. Let me know in the comment section below. If you haven't had a chance to join the official Action RPG Discord, please do so. We're now over 1,100 members. Great conversations every day. The idea is to create a gaming community that could jump from game to game together so you never start the server alone. Link for that Discord is in the description. I hope you all enjoyed this character creator for Black Geyser Couriers of Darkness. Hopefully you're entertained or at least learn something. Aaron, out.